Buying a home can be nerve-wracking under the best of circumstances, but the added complication of the coronavirus pandemic makes it even more stressful. But not to worry, here are three things you need to know when making an offer in these times. Number one, how low can you go? Well, maybe not so much. The rules of engagement are not different than before the virus came into play, and many markets have less available inventory than they did a couple of months ago. Negotiate within reason and you just might find that your offer may go further with the seller than if you came in very low. The good news is most sellers will gladly work with a realistic offer and you may even get a better deal than you bargained for given the situation. Number two, be prepared for a longer closing. Once you've sealed the deal, buckle your seatbelt. What was once a pretty predictable journey from contract to close is now going to be a bit of a zigzag. Expect everything to take longer than it normally would. Inspectors, appraisers, and repair contractors who need to come on site must operate within health and safety guidelines. In some cases, an appraiser may be able to conduct their appraisal just by checking out the exterior of the property. The loan process may also take a bit longer due to lenders, processors, and underwriters working remotely. Work with your real estate agent to establish a realistic closing date based on the realities in your market and plan for these delays. Many realtor associations have developed a coronavirus addendum for a purchase contract to account for unforeseen extensions. And number three, show me the money. Now more than ever, you need to show the listing agent and the seller that you have the means to buy the property. If you will be paying cash, have your proof of funds at the ready and make sure you can access it quickly. If you're getting a mortgage, the days of getting pre-qualified or pre-approved are in the rearview mirror. As a buyer, you will need to obtain a solid loan commitment before going home shopping. Lenders have tightened up their guidelines, so what was once okay a few months ago is not necessarily the case now. Higher credit score, asset, and down payment requirements are becoming the norm. With so much up in the air, now more than ever, you will need to work with an experienced local lender in the area where you want to buy a home. Keep these tips in mind as you go through the process and your transaction is likely to go much smoother.